So, Wonder Over Yonder was a Disney cartoon that ran for two seasons between 2013 and 2016. I never saw the show growing up, one because it was a little past my time, and uh, second because this show got screwed pretty hard by the network. They basically aired only the first 14 episodes on Disney Channel and then dumped the remaining like 60 on Disney XD. No one watched that channel and they kinda just buried the show. I didn't get into Wonder Over Yonder until 2020, after finding out about it from a Phantom Strider video. I binged the whole show in a few days and I really enjoyed it. And today we are ranking the top 10 best episodes from the first season of the show. Hey! So just to get y'all up to speed, Wonder of Yonder is a real fun show that follows the traveler Wonder and his companion Sylvia as they kind of just go wherever in the galaxy and occasionally, or pretty often, run into Lord Hader, who is without a doubt one of the greatest Disney villains, and he wants to take over the universe. And season 1 of Wonder of Yonder produced a lot of good episodes, such as number 10. <laughs> This is an interesting episode as it's the first episode where we really get to explore Lord Hader's ship. Lord Hader tasks his second in command, Commander Peepers, to capture Wonder so Hader can torture him and initially it goes very well but Wonder, well, he wanders off and just goes around the ship. It's our first episode where Peepers plays a main role which is great. Peepers is played by the legendary Tom Kenny in one of his best roles in my opinion. Wonder still plays a role here in the episode of course and it's with him we learn a lot about the ship and Lord Hader's watchdog army. Like did you know there was an, a whole cafeteria on this ship? My favorite thing we see though is uh, when Peeper and Wonder visits these animals that Hader has who all have great designs. and. The whole episode is just, it's good all around. <laughs> After being disappointed in Peepers, Lord Hader hires three bounty hunters to do his job and capture Wonder and Sylvia. I love how we got these uh, like serious cool designs for two of the bounty hunters, but then the third one is just a plant. And the plant actually ends up being the most dangerous one. Throughout the episode we see the bounty hunters trying to capture the two on this uh, like carnival planet, but being taken out by Peepers, who of course wants the glory for himself. It's a very fast and fun episode, and it's always nice seeing Peepers in the spotlights. <laughs> this episode has one of the best concepts I've ever seen. Wonder enters Sylvia into a race which goes from planet to planet in a solar system. It reminds me of Mario Kart, and the whole episode being this race is really fun. Sylvia faces her old nemesis, I think it's called Karnax, who tries pushing her over the edge since she is known as a time bomb, always going crazy in the races. I really like Wonder in this one. He is incredibly supportive of Sylvia and helps her win the race in the end. I gotta know what's in this box! This episode has probably my favorite type of like stock plot, which is a character going insane. There's a reason why Ren from Ren and Stimpy is in my top 3 cartoon characters of all time. In this episode, Wonder and Sylvia are tasked with uh, delivering a box that they are not allowed to open. And so throughout the episode, Wonder slowly goes crazy thinking about what's in the box. We have some great visuals to accompany the increasing insanity, as well as some kind of creepy stuff, such as this mysterious figure that wants to take the box from Wonder at the train station. There is a twist at the end where there never is anything in the box, which I have no problems with, since it was never about that. We as viewers, or at least me, didn't care about what potentially could have been in there, 
I cared about Wonder's journey into madness, and that was executed perfectly in my opinion. This is without a doubt the darkest season 1 episode, and I'm here for it. Sylvia believes Wonder is dead for like minutes of this episode, and the whole thing has a more serious vibe than your usual Wonder of Yonder episode. Now, of course, this is a goofy cartoon, so it's never gonna be too serious, but like, everything here just feels more cinematic, and that makes sense since this episode is parodying Alien. Alien is one of my favorite horror movies, and I feel like the pet does it justice with the homage and putting its own spin on it. Captain Tim, not the actual captain, who was killed, but the spider monster who killed him and uh, like ate him and his name tag, looks just... Ew. He works great as an antagonist, and the ending where Wonder gives him to Hader, who actually keeps him moving forward in the show, is great. The like, little ending, uh, they have like, end credit segments similar to Chowder, and uh, in this one it's very cute, even though I, found, I find Tim very repulsive to look at. I hate spiders. Somebody wake up, Moose! Wake up, Moose! <coughs> this is just a kind of nice episode to watch. It's another 22 minute special, and in it we follow Wesley, who is the smallest and youngest watchdog, who gets left behind on a mission to capture Wonder and Sylvia, but coincidentally, he is the one to find them. Over the course of the episode he goes from holding them as prisoners to actually becoming their friend, and it's kind of heartwarming to watch. Wesley is a very likable character, and seeing him just being very bad at his job and having to be saved by Wonder and Sylvia aka his prisoners, is very funny. Where are we? This episode is basically if you took the alone scene from SP129 and made it into an entire episode. Wonder and Sylvia are stuck in a void and stuff just happens. Both with the ideas and the animation and visuals, this episode is extremely creative. It's also like slightly creepy, but not close to that Spongebob episode that most likely inspired it. And that's fine, since The Void is a strong standalone episode that uh, actually has some heart to it as well. Besides, how hard can it be to return a sock? <sighs> fine. So this episode is about returning a sock to its owner and somehow ends up being one of the most epic adventures in the whole show. We have so many locations, so many new characters, and just so much fun to witness. There is just so much going on in this one that I can't really explain, so I'm just gonna put some uh, stuff on screen from the episode that probably explains the episode better than I can, but it's a great one. Beepers! Reserve a conference room! It's time for... This is a bottle episode where all that happens is just uh, Peeper pitching plans to take over a planet. Here's like pitching it to Hader. Um, you'd think it would be on the boring side since they're just sitting in this room and talking, but it's one of the funniest episodes of the whole show. We see all the plans visualized, and the same goes for Hader's like, counter comments on how Wonder would mess up every single one of the plans. What if Wonder challenges me to some carnival games? Then you don't play the games! What if Wonder flies in at the last moment and shoots a shrink ray from his eyes that makes us all teeny tiny? He can't do that! There is this hilarious monologue that Hader goes on about how he and Peepers will end up stranded on a planet as fishermen and having to fight for a girl's affection and it's, it's all just a lot of fun. There is even a little Star Wars parody here. I feel really bad for Peepers though. His plans are actually kind of good but Hader kind of has a point as well since Wonder is an omnipotent being in some episodes. 
And this episode even ends with them doing the invasion and one of the scenarios Hader told happening and Wonder coming to save the day and making a Star Wars parody. Great stuff. Before I reveal the number one pick, we're gonna, as usual, run through three honorable mentions. First, we have... <laughs> it's Hader's birthday and Peepers has captured Wonder and Sylvia and put them in a Doom arena. We basically get gladiator games and other fun stuff where Wonder, who just wants Hader to smile on his birthday, turns every threat around and it's instead Hader getting hurt. There are a lot of episodes similar to this one where Hader is trying to do something evil and Wonder kind of, without noticing, just screws everything up. So it's not the most original episode, but it's still a good one. In this episode, Wonder does his best to help people, but everything he does creates new problems. It's a fun concept and they do a lot with it, including a clan war, a giant monster and a chain reaction where planets and suns bump into each other, causing Lord Hader to get involved. Also a good one. Hey buddy! This is a nice little episode where, uh, after getting stranded with Wonder, Hader has to pretend he is his friend to not get uh, killed by these savage guys who live on the planet, and no Wonder. It's nice seeing the two interact in a different way, but I think there are multiple episodes in the second season that does this concept better. Still, a pretty good one though. Just the world in this episode is enough to put it on this list. All the outlaw character designs are fantastic and the backgrounds and environment looks great as well. This episode is probably my pick for the best looking season 1 episode as well. Everything is on point visually, and the plot does not disappoint either. After being stranded on this lawless planet, Wonder pretends to be a bad guy to fit in, and it's hilarious. Wonder, who is so often like the nicest guy ever, switching to this pretty badass persona is very cool to see. Wonder even builds up quite a reputation in this episode, with real tough people being scared of him. Eventually, Wonder and Sylvia gets cornered by everyone they angered in this episode, including this Red Bull guy played by Clancy Brown, aka Mr. Krabs. There's actually a lot of SpongeBob voice actors in this show. No wonder it's so good. Just an all around entertaining and visually pleasing episode. Which is what I would say that uh, Wonder of Yonder is as a show as well. It's entertaining and visually pleasing. I really like the look of this show and at times it can be really funny. Uh, I might do another video in the future about season 2, but uh, I think we might be going back to Spongebob soon. I have like a big video coming, like a big big one, but uh, it's been in the works for a while, so it might take a while. Um, in the meantime, my collab with uh, uh, Board Binge Watcher should be going up on his channel soon, so uh, I'll let you all know when it's up there, and uh, that's all I'll see you next. Thanks for watching.